All right, so what is going on today, YouTube? Now, I know on Monday I did say I was going to stop playing this deck, but you know what? I love it, and I really had a lot of fun with it. So we're going to probably I mean, just give it one more week, probably one or two more weeks just to play with it because I really do enjoy this deck. Um, so, yeah, what I, I mean, that this is what we're going to play today, but I do want to give you guys um, a little preview of what's going to be happening for the rest of the week. Now, tomorrow, on Tuesday, you will see Dwayne McFadden's, um, what are they called? Dynamis deck. Now that is uh he, he he suggested it probably a couple of weeks ago and I just never got around to it. I did see the comment and I, you know I got the deck down in here. So tomorrow you guys will see that. On Wednesday we're gonna do another video of Chris Strong's because like I said I do like playing I like playing that deck, it's pretty fun. I'm probably gonna give one more week at that. So Wednesday might be the final video, I don't know. Um it's really up to y'all. If y'all do want to see another video, then I can definitely do another video of Chris Strong's. Um, and then on Thursday, we're going to be doing um, a 60 card zombie deck. Well, kind of, yeah, it's, it's zombie light swarms, but it's Elvis Vu's top 32 deck that I believe that um, he just top 32 with. Um, so, yeah, that deck, because Billy Williams did suggest that um, for me to either play Star Shrav Zombies or a 60 card deck. Now, if you guys, uh, I mean, you know, maybe we'll probably play around with both. Maybe, I don't know. You guys just let me know what you think. And then, um, yeah, I can probably, I mean, I can get to that. Um, uh, I can pretty much uh, play either one. Just let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys do want to see a 60 card version, we can play that. Or if you guys do want to play a Star Survive version, we can definitely play that. Just have to find a list or, you know, like I said, just not like I said, but like I always do, just make a deck myself. Um, and then on Friday, no, Thursday, no, the, uh, Thursday is the 60 card zombies. And on Friday, we will we'll be playing the Trap Tricks deck that Random IX he sent. Um, so, yeah, uh, he sent the Trap Tricks deck. Now, I do not know how to play Trap Tricks. I know what they do. But like I said, I mean, my Christian video, um, I, I'm not the greatest Trap Tricks player. I did briefly play it probably a couple of years ago, a Trap Tricks deck or with Trap Tricks in it. That's when um, Mermelio just came out and stuff like that. So, yeah. And then it got like Notorious like, Sacred Tree and stuff like that. So, hopefully I do not mess up. But without further ado, we're going to just hop straight into this video. Um, if you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you have not already. And if you guys can, click an ad to help support the channel. So, without further ado, let's just hop straight in. All right. So, here we go against Mick Thirsty. No, that's not his name. That was a different dude. He never does answer the card. It's against Silently, and we've silently opened up a terrible fucking hand, which can get better by a simple Shadow Mist, a simple Master of Vion, um, a Rota. There's a lot of things that can make this hand better, or a simple a Destiny Hero target. We can just do pretty much fine with that. Now, what I believe what I'm going to draw is what the fuck is that? Red Eyes Fang would change. What? Target one red eyes monster. You control equip this card. It can make an second attack. Holy fuck. You can send this equip card, then target an effect monster and equip that target to it. And we probably desire some pretty good card to draw. And why equip? It becomes equal to the attack. And you are a red eyes slash dragon. When a warrior declares an attack, I mean, when a red eyes declares an attack, so you can target a warrior in your graveyard and equip it to the card. Equip monster gains 200. Okay, that's retarded. No need for his turn when a card effect is activated. The target is a card you control. You can send one equipped card you control to the giver and negate the activation. And if you do destroy that card, and if it's destroyed by battle, you can spell some of as many monsters that the card is equipped to. That's pretty good. And what does this one do? Oh, okay. I didn't know Red Eyes got more support. I probably should just be paying more attention to a lot of things that's going on. Um. Let's see what we banish. Let's see what we banish. One by on. Oh, that's fine. That's completely fine. There we go. There, there's a drill guy. So that's that's pretty good. Drill guy was a pretty great draw. All right. So we have that. Oh, exactly what we can do here. We can foolish. What's the name? And we have a future fusion. We can just waste. But oh, I know exactly what we can do here. I completely keep forgetting that. Um, I'm just going ahead and probably twin twister this. Um. Uh, I could twin twister and discard this future fusion. I don't. I mean, I don't need it. Not gonna need this future fusion. And then this says when a red eyes declare an attack, right? Okay. Well, that's just gonna die. I don't. I'm not understanding. Uh, this is gonna get the buy on. Does this do anything when it dies? No, it doesn't. Okay. 
So here we go. We're going to send a. We're going to send um, the young Mally. And then we're going to use you to banish the drill. No. Whoa! I didn't even mean to do that. Now we can get fusion substitute. That's what we can do. We can't get a fusion substitute because we can use the two on the field. Um. What? I kind of wait. Do I? Let's use the. Let's just get a fusion substitute. Let's get a free draw, everybody. So what we can do here. Oh, wait, 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 what am I doing? All right, I can, okay, I know what to do. We're gonna use this, right? Get you, then we could poly these two, right? We could poly these two, bam. So we can poly these two out of the hand, special. Then what we can do is we could use the Mally, exactly what we're gonna do here. Get this out. Then we're going to stack the strike because we're going to draw it anyways. Then we could um, we use Vion, correct? Yeah, we can go into a Coral Dragon. Bam. Then we could synchro uh, these two into a Young Tozoken. Bam. Get a free draw. Nope. Set. Use that to go ahead and get a young crystal wing out. Then use the young fusion substitute because this is a warrior, right? Yep. Go into a Draco request. Do these two. Bam. And then I believe this is game. This is game, huh? Banish. Go ahead. The, the Ultimaya. And you guys already know, like uh, Protocurity said, it's as sweet as diabetes this play is. It's just so fucking good. And look, we have a fusion substitute draw, but we're not going to do that now. We're going to just attack for game. And this is why I love this goddamn deck. This deck is just so fucking fun to play. It's really just, it's so fun to play. Especially the Draco Equest combo is so good. It, it's, it's so amazing. And look, we we just got game. That That's just amazing. we would be right back with another duel. And now we're going up against young John Gertie. And he's going scissors. Oh, he's 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 being relentless with the scissors. So let's go ahead and go rock and go ahead and get to go first. And we're playing a 60 card deck. Jesus Christ, that sucks. And we've opened up apps. We opened up pretty ass, actually. We're going to just use this. Probably should have kept that in my hand. But you know what we're going to do here? We're going to use Young Vion and send the... No, we can't send Melly. We have to send, the th we have to send our third Shadow Mist, which really is going to, is going to suck. So uh, we can go ahead and grab the mist and then use Vion to banish this. And we're going to just do the same regular play and then get a Beatrice and a possibly, um, you know what we can do? We can send another Shadow Mist out of our hand, right? I believe we can, right? What does it say? Send, yeah, we could send Celestial right now, but um, should we? You know what? I kind of don't want to. But you know what? Fuck it. We're not going to need another miss. We can send... Oh, fuck. That was my... That was an accident, fellas. That was a complete accident. We were not supposed to do that. We were supposed to send Celestial. But you know what? It's going to be all right. We're going to still... We're going to still do our plays here. We're going to still be able to do a lot of good plays. Um, next turn, we get a freeze future fusion. So... All right. What am I doing? I'm sending a plague, right? And yeah, let's not mess up on that. Let's not mess up with the plague. Stack the mist because we definitely don't need another one in our hand. Then we're going to use you. And you know, we could have did the ultimate play right now, but we didn't have another card in our hand. So that would have been probably a bad thing to do. So hopefully this man is not playing. Uh, I mean, does not have the young. Uh, what is that card called? Uh, the young. The young uh, fucking uh, grass looks greener because then it's, it's going to hurt our fucking soul because he's going to mill 20. And then that's not going to be too good for us. Um, hopefully he does have left arm offering because then Omega can hit it. Oh, well, you know what? That's fine with me. I don't care about grass looks greener anymore because the most you can do is eight. And I mean, if you can hit me something, if you can do something terrible to me with eight cards. Oh, this is Paleozoics. Monster Gate. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Ooh. Paleozoics. Jesus Christ. What the fuck does that do? Um. Oh. 
Oh, okay, that's smart. I, I feel you. I'm not chaining, so. That's a pretty good card to play, I guess. It's kind of stupid, but I mean, I guess. It's, uh, it's different. I give him that. It's a, it's a very different card to be doing right now. Um, That's fine. You could set one. You can set two, but you're going to hit the third one out of your hand. Ooh, a call of the... Why did I hit the worst one in his fucking hand? I hit the worst card of his hand. It's a call of hunting. I'm going to hit the worst one. Hopefully, we draw a twin twister. Um, we're going to end phase. And what we can do here... Is go ahead and we can either send fusion substitute, but you know what? I do want the I do want to draw two, so we're gonna send celestial right now. Because look at that, that's just amazing. Oh, we could have did that too. Let's go ahead and do you and go ahead and dump two. Oh fuck. He's gonna chain the third card. He's gonna be able to draw one. Okay. Well I don't I don't know what this I mean, triggers. I mean, you only get to draw one card. There's no reason to continue all this. Oh, and then you do. All right. So that's good that two of them are draw cards. I'm pretty sure he's going to have a Wabaku down there. It's okay because we do run Scarlight. And actually, we can't even do anything with that, huh? Oh, fuck. Like what? Oh, he's dumb. He used two cards with the same name, right? Or that? Oh, that's a different card, isn't it? No, oh, and he did use two with the same name. Yeah, he can't draw no cards no more. Um, I guess Celestial in this. Yeah, you won't be able to draw a card because he uses two of the same card. Um, you get that back, but that's all right with me. Um, do we want to use this effect? There's really not too much to send. No, let's not use that effect right now. What we're going to do, we're going to set. What do we have in here? We're going to use you, banish a drill guy, because it really doesn't matter. Can't kill anything by battle. Oh, a plague. That's pretty good. We can use you, though. We can go ahead and banish a Bayon, because Bayon doesn't do anything in a graveyard. So this dimensional barrier is going to be pretty good though. So um, we can grab this. Um, we do we though? Because there's no dragon on here, huh? And there's no warrior. So I think we grab the polymerization here. We have a plague in the graveyard. Yes, we do. So let's go ahead and lower real quick. Hope you're drawn to a pot of avidity. Oh, it's a twin twister. Okay, well that's fine. Um, hmm. We can go plague and then go into that, but then that doesn't do anything. Uh, you know, I think we just, I think we end our turn here. I mean, we can just pop the back row off. Um, no, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna just set these, and then I guess be okay with the end of our turn because we can't literally do anything. Then in uh, standby phase, we're just calling seeds. So he can't really do anything. Does he have a what's name in the grave? He does have a breakthrough skill. He's probably going to do that. But he can't attack over. I mean, he can't attack over my Vion. That's fine. Um, Omega getting negated. That's that's completely okay with me. He can't really do anything. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I hope he's not playing tuners. Chain strike. That's that's complete. Oh, no, this is going to trigger him. Huh? That's pretty good. All right, I give it to you. I give it to you. That was pretty good. That's pretty good, but you can't capitalize right now, so I'm not tripping. This is this this deck is pretty is pretty I guess it's pretty good. I mean, it's not the greatest of decks, but hey, it 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 it's fun. Give him that. It's a fun deck to play. He's going to send another Metaphors Fusion. What are you? What fucking? Oh, it's that card, Dual Taining. Okay. So that gives me kind of hope because he's, he, you know, he had that pretty much what that means is possibly why. Oh, okay. I did that. Um, possibly. Wait, what? Um, if they summon five, 
what is this a level six and um, what does it say if you attack what is it say? take damage special summon five monsters with different levels at the same time one monster that control battles five times activate a card or effect that is chain link five or higher roll a six that they die toss a coin or five times take damage made there 500 less okay we're gonna call six Oh, it's a four. Wow, that, that's weird. Why would you be playing Necroface in this deck? Man, I was never going to get that right. But yeah, uh, the field card gives me hope that some of his hands are dead. Some cards in his hands are dead, so. Yeah, see, look, there you go. There's one card in his hand that's dead. So that's good. That's really good. Yeah, he's going to start putting shit in defense. That's fine. I could see he's probably going to attack with the 1200. No, no, okay, no, he's smart. He's smart. He ain't going to be done with it. Oh, I should have grabbed a fusion substitute. I really, no, if I, yeah, fusion substitute would have been better because I could have just in phased and did a twin twister, which I'm going to do on these two because I know at least one of them has to. Oh, wow. That's a dead card. That cannot be a real card. That cannot, for the life of him, be a real card because if that's a real card, I'm gonna be very upset, but let me hit that and I'm gonna hit this one. Let's hope those are. Oh God, those are those are pretty good. Ooh, soul charge. Why does that trigger? What does it say? When this card is pressed, summon, target level four, inflict damage equal to. Okay, well we might as well do that, huh? Just target celestial. Do 16 real quick. Um, what can we do in here? All right, so we can set. We can set. We could use another celestial because that's just good. Um, we could banish another diamond dude. Ooh, pot of avidity. But that is the best thing we could have did was draw that pot of avidity. We can put one, two. I guess the third plague spreader black because that's pretty good. All right, and then with that being said, we can foolish a mist. Um, we can foolish a mist and um. We can possibly get over everything in his back row. So let's do that here. Let's foolish the mist. Um, where are you at, mist? There we go. Foolish that. Get another Vion. Where are you at? Get a Vion. Normal summon the Vion. Use the Vion. Sadly, we have, um, oh wait, we weren't supposed to do all that. That was not something we needed to do. We can go ahead and banish. Um, that's the only way we're getting the mist back in the deck is by. Uh, okay, we got to get the fusion substitute. So that means we could stack this. Bam. Go into a coral. And then with that, we can discard. Pop you. And do. You oh damn it that was a fuck up. Then we can go into an Ultimaya. These two, bam. Yeah, all right that's good. Ooh, like do I even want to do that? Hmm. You know what? I don't think I want to because I can just draw and twin twister him and pop these two. But you know what? I'm going to get a uh, what's the name out. So I'm going to get a Void Dragon out. Ooh, I can get a. If I get Scarlet, I blow everything else. No. All right, we're going to get this. I'm going to turn this all to attack. Then we're going to do some damage. Well, okay, what do you do? Do I need to play this turn? You can target one. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, I didn't know it does that. All right, so. Um, I mean, we're all going to do the same amount of damage. It doesn't really matter. Then pop you. I'm gonna leave that. That's exactly what I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the the necro face because that doesn't do anything. I'm gonna attack that. Do the most damage we possibly can. Leave him with nothing, pretty much. And then him not activating nothing thinks that he doesn't have anything. So we're gonna just do this real quick. It may it may end up hurting us, but. We're going to do it. And then 
off of the draw phase we're going to just quickly mst i mean go ahead and quickly do that because that's a soul charge so and then we're going to use this omega and we've we've came back we have come back um and i guess we return celestial we return celestial i mean there's nothing he can really do it doesn't it i mean there's nothing really he can do he can't activate anything in this graveyard because once he activates something i'm just going to channel omega and that's going to force out either us uh what's it what does it say um i've never summoned this card and i've, I've never read it so you guys are gonna have to forgive me during the player's turn my oh, lawn mowing okay well no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna negate that I don't, there's, there's no reason to there's no reason to and you know why i didn't negate because he does have the metal force fusion and then once he draws bam go ahead and get that go ahead and get that out the way and we have came back and beat john gertie Thank you to the young dimensional barrier. He can't really attack anything. Okay, let me read this card because I, I definitely don't know what it does. Don't need first turn if a card attack is different. Okay, you could, oh, okay, so it's like a it's like a Ragna Zero, pretty much. Okay. All right, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and resolve this Omega. A future fusion actually came in handy. That's crazy. Um, nope, don't need to do anything. Just attack and be all right. And we have. Got an, an, another victory just because of the deck is just so fucking fun to play. Look at this. Look at that. Fusion, Synchro, and Exceed. That's amazing. But um, this has been 21 minutes. You know what? Uh, yeah, I think we can end it right here. All right. So that is the end of the video for today, guys. Um, uh, I'm thinking about starting to upload on the weekend. Probably like just some fun decks that I can think of. Probably like a the zombie, the zombie in a car, the zombie in a deck that i was talking about probably going to upload that on the weekend or something um but uh yeah so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys next time and